Hello and welcome to the September quarter review of the Investmart Core Growth Portfolio. Very quickly having a look at the holdings at the current portfolio stands, you can see very clearly we are very much weighted towards growth assets, particularly towards international side. If you have a look at the current attribution that we had over the last quarter, very clearly you can see that that growth part has contributed quite substantially and particularly the international side. The reason for that, if we have a look at what was the main adder, it's the Vanguard MSCI International Shares ETF, and 63% of that exposure is in the US markets. The US had their best quarterly return since December 2013, adding 7.8% in the three months to September. What I also would probably therefore look at is that from an Australian dollar perspective, it was even better, and that's why it contributed 2.6% in overall returns during that quarter. Staying with the VGS and having a look into the final quarter of this year, we very much expect that US markets and probably international markets will continue to be the main driver of growth and therefore the main driver of the core growth portfolio. Looking to the domestic side of the portfolio, and we have a look at the iShares core S&P ASX 200. It only added 0.54 of 1% over the quarter. We did actually see quite a big movement throughout the three months. And if you have a look, look, August was quite impressive. Earnings season was reasonable. It did actually see an upside. But as we moved into September, it was ex-dividend month, and that therefore put a little bit of a downer. Geopolitical risk really encroached onto our market as the US-China trade war ramped up quite significantly in the third quarter. And finally, you can't go past what was going on at the Banking Royal Commission. It clearly did drag down the financial side of the market. Looking into the final quarter for also the Australian side, it's likely that those those three main areas will probably filter in, and therefore we do expect that the Australian market will probably underperform its international counterparts. Looking to the outlook for the final quarter and also into 2019, there are a few things that we really do need to highlight, and that's probably US earnings season. We do expect to actually see their EPS growth for the final quarter of the year at around 20% year on year. Having a look also at things like the bond market over in the US, it probably is going to start filtering through. The US Federal Reserve raised rates for the ninth time in three years in September. It's incredibly likely that they'll do it again in December as well. It also therefore means that you are just going to see a little bit of tightness coming across the entire growth market as we move forward. We don't expect it to impact this quarter, but going into 2019 and 20, it probably will mean that growth will slow.